Woodbury Getaway. December 8th. Okay, is the sound okay? I need a coffee to get done with the day. Sounds fine? Okay. Oh, we work in an office with cubicles and everything. Alright, where be coffee? This music is unnerving. Where be coffee? Probably this way. Keeping the ads at bay. Okay. Well, I don't know where the coffee is, dude. Bro, man, lady, I don't know. Okay, coffee's this way. Coffee! I mean, I like coffee. Look, I'm not a coffee drinker, okay? I don't know this shit. Ugh. That's the supply room. Am we still working over here? No peeing. I want to know who's over there. Yeah. Okay. I'll throw it in the garbage then? I have energy drinks that make me go burr. Coffee's gross. I can't do it. I've tried it so many different ways. I just, I can't do it. I don't want to just throw it. Hold on. Probably a garbage somewhere. God damn it. God damn it. Got it. Okay, so I am a girl. Probably. <laughs> Hello? Oh god, that's not creepy at all. <gasps> oh! Fuck you! I even knew you were in here! Fuck you! Fuck you! <laughs> I even knew you were in here. Fuck you. Whoa, ma'am. Sorry, I didn't know anyone was here. You almost gave me a heart attack. I'm so sorry. I should have knocked before I came in. But there usually... There isn't usually anyone here this late. No, it's fine. You're just doing your job. Again, I'm sorry. I really... I usually do knock, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Must have slipped my mind. What has you frustrated? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. That's really rude. Well, I need to get back to it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. You motherfucker. Jesus Christ. I'm stuck. Hello? There we go. Holy shit. I heard him come in. He just scared the shit out of me. He's so gonna kill you. Well, yeah, that's me, actually. Hey, Orp, it's Mike. Oh, wow, there's voice acting. Hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Is everything all right? Uh, my battery dies at the worst times. Oh, snap, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, no, it even cut out on a client earlier. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. It's more over time. That sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. Oh, God. Um, about so let him get the jump on you. Chance to book the rental house? 
just really wanted to see you. And Nora. No, I was going to do it after work. No worries, Harper. I don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey, I was thinking since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. Um... You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. Oh, God. Sure. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Okay. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Here, I'll find something affordable. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. I should really make the booking now. Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. Alright, talk to you later, Harp. Rentacabin.com Wow. What a sight. Where am I going? Woodbury. Two hundred and fifty dollars a night, two hundred and forty nine a night, one ninety nine a night, ninety nine a night. Gonna be that one, I guess. Wi-Fi, garden, TV, kitchen, fishing, parking space. I mean, technically, it's under $100 a night, right? I like the smell of coffee, but bleh. Drinking it is gross. Two stars? Yeah. Three guests, two bedroom, two beds. One and a half shared bathrooms, two reviews. Can I look at the reviews? Apparently not. Okay. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds if not thousands stories sent daily, so I'll give you the basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. I was in my early 20s. I worked at a big consulting firm in my city. Life at the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of my mental peace. I'm Sydney Harper, and this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont, which sounded like a peaceful break from the cycle of work. My other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. The plan was simple. We rent a small cabin, close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. If it tastes like coffee, yeah. Jesus. And you thought the janitor was a serial killer? I think Mike might be the... Oh, that's not Mike. Okay. How do I pick it up? Jesus Christ. Okay, hold on. Let me read this quick. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to contact me for anything during your stay. Look forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m. Right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in the lockbox at the front door. The code is 5176. Call me if you have any trouble getting it open. Have a safe trip. Great. Thank you. Michael, just book. Do you ever answer the phone anymore? Call me, please. I'm off work now. Okay, I'm heading that way. Pulling into the garage now. Are you downstairs yet? Yes. Oh, hi. Hi, Mike. At least you don't look like a serial killer. Uh, sure. The awkward hug. That's still how you hug people? 
Why don't you hug me like you miss me? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. Oh my god. Fair enough, but for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. You look good. Oh god, thanks for picking me up. Wouldn't have it any other way. It'll be nice to have the company. This old truck brings back so many memories. Oh, truck. Sorry. This old truck. 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 Not trick. Truck. Right? This bad boy's been through a lot. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. Ow. Yeah. My kiss is Kinwalker. <laughs> Ready to hit the road? Nod, let's do this. Where's Nora? Um, where's Nora? She'll meet us there. The route through the city would have been a detour for her anyway. Alright then, Harp. Alrighty. It was starting to snow. Hi. Arp, isn't it weird? We used to dream about escaping our college. And now we are here. Trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out of the real world. Out into the w real world. Maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it go how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. Oh my god. It'll be about an hour and a half from here. You know, driving through the snow kind of feels like we're traveling through intergalactic space. What? What do you mean? Look at the way the snowflakes swirl around the headlights. It's like the stars and galaxies rushing past us. Sure there, buddy. It's kind of beautiful. Sure, whatever you say there, Mike. Warp speed! I don't know, he's giving me he's giving me creep vibes, and I don't like that. A dairy mart? Yo, heart, check that out. What am I checking out? Moe's Pizza. I gotta tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is ex exactly where it appeared on my GPS. It's like living in the future. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole piece of myself. Me too. Alright then. Our Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. Sir, are you okay? Okay. Oh shit, there's voice notes? Okay, hold on. Hold on, dude. I want to read. I want to read all this. I want to read. I like reading. Oh, you're just standing there with the door open the whole time? Bro. Even if folks looks like the cold's got everyone craving pizza tonight. You find folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss? Cheese. Alright, what's your second slice? Cheese. And the third? Cheese. I like cheese. Any drinks for you folks? I should cover us. Just a pizza today, I think. Alright then, six hot slices coming right up. That'll be twenty-two fifty. Cheese! Your order number is 27. Just grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza's ready. And he drinks cheese. 
Exactly. It smells so good in here. Ew, pepperoni and mushroom. Gross. Oh, you guys are going to hate me. I swear, I'll get on the road as soon as I can. But something last minute popped up. I'm not going to bore you with all of the details. The we don't, I guess. It is, one of my clients needs a last minute change. Their payments are about the only thing keeping the lights on. I hate to leave so late, but I got to keep them happy. I'll have this logo done before you know it and be on my way. Ugh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Nora, please be careful. I hate that you're leaving so late. Drive slow and don't worry. I'll make sure Harp stays up to let you in. Wow, thanks. Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. See? He's a fucking creeper. Okay, well, he's a friend from college. Clearly, there's some kind of awkwardness going on here. And literally, our friend's supposed to be joining us, who's another female. And he's like, oh, you know, uh, what what are we going to do without her? And he's like, oh, don't, don't act like you don't know. Like, to me, that's insinuating that he wants to get the boink on. <laughs> I'm doing okay, shy guy. How are you? Damn, this pizza slaps. Who the fuck says that? Can't believe Nora is missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? Bomb-ass pizza? Slaps? I guess I just don't use the lingo. Are you really leaving your crust, woman? I didn't think so. Eat your damn pizza. You know I love you, Deadeye. You actually eat the crust? It's, I'd eat a tire if I was hungry enough. It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but wouldn't you really... Wouldn't... Yeah, I guess, but you wouldn't really eat the peel of an orange, would you? Bro. Crust is the best part of a pizza. The fuck you talked about? It's bread! Oh, sick. Got wet in the rain. Hello. Hi. Hey there, my friends. Uh, hello there. I saw y'all in a... Uh, I saw y'all pull in driving that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading in the same direction I was. Y'all mind if I hitch a ride with you? Where's your car? Who needs a car when there are fine friends like you to pass the time with? Y'all wouldn't even know I was there. Quiet as a church mouse and twice as nice. So, what do y'all say? Care to give this free spirit a ride down that snowy road? Yeah, no. Sorry, bro. Um. No. No, you kidding me? Have you seen the snow out there? You want me walking down the road in this freezing weather? Oh, this weather? I'm sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Wow, fuck you too. Well, that was weird. He didn't even order anything. I feel bad for the guy, though. After all these years, he's still that same old harp. Where did he... Okay. Yeah, you keep, you keep going, dude. I'm sorry, but no. Randos are made to be mean to unless you tie them up. Oh my god. <laughs> that piece of was perfect fuel for the last leg of our trip. Holy, that was good. Alright then, are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. Are we close? Let's see if my GPS is right. We should be another another hour. I don't want to drive! Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm going to drive so you can get a break. I'm afraid of that... Of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. 
You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. Deal. I don't want to drive. I was literally going to say I'm so happy I don't have to drive. Fuck. Vermont. This is your host on WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next. Am I good at driving? No, shut up. <laughs> After I ask if I'm good at driving, lol. I'm trying to get my feet on the ground so I move and I'm trying to step up out my head and maybe lose. Okay, but it's hard for me to step out of my comfort. I'm losing all my motivation. All I ever wanted was some peace and some time and some. I get it, dude. Thank you. God damn. It's across the street. Oh god, it's got a basement chat. What was it? Five... One, seven, six or something? Hey look, I remembered. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. No. You heard nothing. Smells so nice in here. Right? I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, can you put these groceries away? There should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. What am I doing? Just throwing this stuff in here? Ah, uh, it's you too. Bell peppers. Hi. Sorry about that, Harp. Are you okay? Long drives and all that pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Harp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rustic charm you just don't see anymore. It's nice to get away from the city for a bit. For sure. Hey, I really need to pee. I'll be back. Go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bag. I'm assuming this was the toilet. Yeah. Smell alone told me pizza had really done a number on Mike. Ew! I didn't need to know that. Hi, we've checked in. Jesus Christ, hi dude. You feeling better after the drive? I'm good. Wanna check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. After you. Hey, you creeper. This living room is bigger than my apartment. This is random. Ooh! A Ouija board! I'm touching the Ouija board. I'm touching it. Whispers in the dark. Ouija. Catopoly. Snakes and ladders. I'm doing it. I'm doing it! Luigi board. Come on, Mike. Move your ass. Look at a Luigi board, Mike. Come on, Mike. This 
This guy must really like, like fishing. It can be fun. Hi. Fishing stuff that I know nothing about. Okay. A BBQ? <gasps> Jesus Christ. Holy fuck. Fuck you. Oh, hey, you're here. Who are you? Welcome to my home sweet home. What a lovely young couple. No, no, we're not a couple. You didn't have to sell it that hard, Harp. I was just answering his question. He didn't ask a question, Sydney. He made a statement, and you... Never mind. Oopsie daisy, silly me. Didn't mean to cause a stir between you two. We didn't expect anyone to be here. There goes my tea. I'm so sorry. Hades would be a good boy, yes. Oh, um... I was out looking for my cat earlier, and I remember the TB was on, ha has been on the frist here. Just that I stopped by to get it working again, since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TB. Speaking of that... Now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I didn't give you the grand tour. Jesus Christ. This was a middle-aged man with a nervous energy. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Yeah, no kidding. And you take us straight to the bathroom? Uh, sir? Here's your shower. That thing will make you feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in the Amazon jungle. Oh, this thing doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Um, okie dokie then. Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Wait till I show you the deck. Follow me now, please. You go first, Mike. That's a fucking creeper. Oh, God. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Definitely. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. Alright, folks, let's head back in before I catch cold here again. Why are you standing in there? Here's the storage room. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all in here. And if the power ever goes out, you can use this flashlight here on the right. Storms like these, you never know. Thanks. Alright, folks, let's head downstairs now. After you, Mike! It does sound like a night shower. Are you coming, miss? No. After you, Michael. Jesus. Beautiful view of jack shit because it's snowing. I know, right? I see I already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob before for more cooling and down, cool it off. I tend to keep it low in the winter. The bill gets out of control. Speaking of winter, I better show you folks the water heater. Oh, God. No! Going to a creepy-ass fucking basement with you? Bruh. Can't see shit? I'm heading into a creepy-ass basement with... A motherfucker that I don't know. Oh, hell nah. Um. 
Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water. What the fuck is that? And some old storage stuff. Better stuff's working. Just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right back up. And you'll be back in business. Mike? Okay. Uh-huh. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to concern yourselves with. Kind of just use this basement as storage. Renters don't need this. The space really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Let's move on. Okay, I found this on the web for what's the deal with that room over there. <laughs> don't need the space upstairs. Hi, creeper. Did I mention? Well, no. Maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fella I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Great! Some guests have reported hearing voices at night. They said they could hear something shuffling down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were you, I wouldn't really step down here. He 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 he. Looks in your faces. He he he. Come on now, I'm just joking. Oh my god. At this point, my creep meter was quietly pinging around six out of ten. No, I'm not coming. Fuck off. Creepy. Right. Alrighty, folks. Show starting. No starting to pick up. I'm gonna hit the road now. Gotta find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around. Goodbye. Oh, fuck. By the way. What was the name on the booking? I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney. That's right. Pretty name for a pretty girl. See? Creepers! Is it just me or was that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything good on TV. Actually, I'm gonna go take a quick shower. Cool, I'll find something to watch while you're in there. Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. Thanks, see you in a bit. Okay, well, first of all, that's annoying as fuck. Well, no shit, you stupid. I thought you were gonna get in the shower. I'm expecting to see like someone behind me or some shit. He didn't pick a room, by the way. Jesus Christ. Hi, Mike. Holy hell. Check this out. I found this fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you've mentioned, that would be a pretty epic addition to the trip. I don't know. It's cold out there. Come on, Harp. Gonna make this trip epic by catching our own frick freaking dinner. Follow me. There's another rod in the shed. We can both give it a shot. I just showered, bro. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. I know. Very creepy for sure. Yes, she got in the shower with her clothes and showered and got out and is now in the snow. In a towel, presumably. Mike? See, this didn't happen. This didn't happen for me. I walked in and he said nothing. I kill a recipe for baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yes. Well, the first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab the carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, harp. Let me grab the bait. So, carp, 
play. Cheats! See cheats! Or corn. Cheese delight or corn. Cheese. Yeah, that didn't happen for me at all. Cheese. We're cooking with gas. Yeah, I'm coming. Thank you, I know. Something about biting, sorry. Thank you for the lurk, Obsidian. Oh shit. Oh. Oh shit. Fuck. Yeah, because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Cheese! I love cheese. Let's do it. I'm cleaning the fish. Do you mind prepping the marinade? The marinade? I'm not sure how to do it. Take a bowl, throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian seasoning, paprika, and yogurt. I'm not going to remember all that shit. Okay, yogurt. Salt. Black pepper. There we go. You mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop these veggies? Sure. What the fuck did you do with the fish? Two carps. Marinade. Done. Now could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go for 30 minutes at 400. Okay. Carp are gonna taste amazing, are they though? I wish it was that easy. Yeah, I bet. Which one? Okay. We all know what I'm gonna pick. There is a Ouija board. Holly once told me she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? Chat! 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 He's gonna make me motherfucking do it anyway. Chat. No. Oh, no, okay, Absol, how are you? Fuck you. <sighs> Great. I am too sober for that. I am also too sober for this. Just finds a motherfucking table. What now? Let's turn off all these lights and see if this thing really works. There's an orb. Oh my god. 
You absolutely fucked right now, bro. Can't see shit. But okay. I hate this guy. I hate him. Yes, I know how Ouija boards work. Then I go first? Fuck you! Are there any spirits who want to talk to us? Yeah, that's... Not how that works. You're so moving that, bro. What the fuck does this say? No way, are you moving it? First of all, my hands aren't even on it. That wasn't me. Okay, I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. You live in this house, what's your name? Are you friendly? What's your name? My turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. You're not supposed to do that, bro. Are you friendly? How many pickles can you just drop your butt? I can't tell what it's saying, if anything. What the fuck, Mike? I'm not usually one to believe in ghosts or spirits. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel uneasy that night. Jesus Christ, bro. He just left me down there. No, we didn't say goodbye. Dude. The fuck, man? Some freaky shit going on down there, Harp. That was weird. The weird part is that you ditched me. What the hell, Harp? I figured you'd move your ass, too. Would have been nice if you had checked. Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. Wow. No, we didn't say goodbye, so we're about to get haunted. Our asses are about to get haunted. I think our show is about to come on if you want to watch TV while we eat. Sure. Wow. Great show there, Mike. Can I turn the TV on? Romania, where mayonnaise flows down the rivers like a mayonnaise water park. What so the fuck? First, after doing that, we mix all the ingredients was really good. together in a tray. We make a great teen heart. Hey, anyways. I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Hey, I thought we were taking a break from work. Start, Not work. It's just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. Now this dish all right, is I'll clean up here. Extremely hard to make. A dish only for experienced cooks. Yeah, you sound so experienced there, bro. That dude was creepy. Gasoline soup ramen. Stir-fried mayonnaise. Yep. What? What? I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? Bro. No? I wish cooking and cleaning were that easy too. Uh, yeah, how about motherfucking no? Also, I don't know which room you picked, bro. He's gonna jump scare me, this motherfucker. He's gonna jump scare me, this motherfucker.
It's probably still gonna get me because I'm expecting it. <laughs> yep, you fucker. Gotcha! What the hell, Mike? You're lucky I didn't break your noise. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> Whatever. Come on, it was just a joke. Wanna go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? I'll get you back for this. Whatever you say, Sydney Harper. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. Oh, fuck. Why am I hiding in the basement? Are you fucked, woman? Oh, my fucking god. Oh, my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Where we didn't say goodbye on the fucking Ouija board. Woman? Probably in here. You gotta be quiet. Fuck you. Got you. I wasn't even challenged. I figured you would be good at this. Since I never find you in the city. Maybe you need to look harder. Alright, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. No. Oh yeah, the, Lu the Luigi board is still here, yes. Hi, Bea. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi, six Mississippi, seven Mississippi, eight Mississippi, nine Mississippi, ten Mississippi. Ready or not, here I come. See you again, this didn't happen. Got you. Hang on, Herp. I think I heard something upstairs. We are upstairs. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice. No, not kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life I heard something. I see the, attic's a the attic access door in here. Okay. Good for you. Are you gonna make me go up there by myself? What a man. I know, right? Oh, Jesus, I can't see shit. Mike? Really, bro? Not creepy at all. Oh! Fuck you, rat. Cat. Oh, it's the kitty! Hi, kitty! Oh, you can pet the kitty. Oh, you can pet the kitty. Hi, kitty. You scared me. I thought you were a big rat. Oh, you're so cute, though. Kitty. I'm just gonna pet the kitty. Kitty. I'll pet the kitty. Go pet the kitty. <laughs> Good kitty. Your owner's a creep, kitty. I want to take it with me. It was just a cat, bro. Are you, what was up there? It was just a cat. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you are the only pussy in this house. Uh What do you mean by that? 
cat. It was just a cat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried there for a minute. I think she was hungry. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Oh my fucking god. In the tool shed. Why are you hiding in the weirdest fucking spots, woman? Oh my god. Let's go outside the house. Isn't that like against the fucking rules? Oh my god. Thank you for the clip, Sammy. You got called a pussy yesterday? By who? It took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing? Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close his pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You'll find me and we'll go to bed. Or so you thought. What is that emote? A tomato, I think. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What's going on? What happened? Oh, hey there. Why the hell are you back again? Rick, why are you back? What are you doing with that hammer? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? You should have told us. Piss. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. Uh, you kind of do, actually. If you have people renting your house, you're not supposed to really be in it. Unless they're, like, living there. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You have fixed many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need here. Isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. I told you I'll get the sink fixed for you real soon. You think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we, don't really have to want to call law enforcement. Ain't no cops in Woodbury, son. You think they're going to arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. Okay. Okay. But, he's the house owner, okay? But this is like an Airbnb-like situation where he's renting his cabin out to us for the weekend. You should not be in this house. I don't care if you own it. That's not how this works. If we are paying to stay in your house, like unless we live here, which we don't in this case, it's like for a getaway type thing. Airbnb, people don't just come in their houses. Exactly, exactly, Sammy. That's, it's kind of like the same as living in an apartment building. The owners of the apartment building or the owners of, like if you rent a house, the owners can't just come in whenever the fuck they want. They need to give you 24 hour notice. So the fuck? This guy's sketchy. I don't like him. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave you to it. Bye! Right? Get the fuck out of your own house, man. After locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an, exim an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. I decided to get some rest. 11.39 p.m. 
Oh. Are you fucked? I don't want to get up. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on your door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk about something. Sure. The storm's starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora's okay. She'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry, I'm here to keep you safe. What? That's nice of you, Mike. Okay. See? Mike's a fuck! That's nice of you, Mike. No problem at all. Guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This is wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. It's been a strange day. Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge in the place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house. Thank you for the look, Zoe. I mean, the guy's probably harmless, but I'm just frustrated. Me too. I really need sleep, night, Mike. It'll help if we both get some sleep. See? Guys. I wasn't wrong. Mike's a fuck. Something's up with Mike. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Um... I don't know that I want to, Mike. I. Arp, you know... I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You know... You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Mike, where is this coming from? Would you be doing this if Nora was here? Exactly. Where is this coming from? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. I do remember it really well. Oh yeah? Do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. Oh, see? Mike's a fuck! Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to do. Oh. The boys sleep in. They sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. I don't think it's a good time. Did you listen to Nora's message? I will now. Guys! I think I'm about 70 miles away from Woodbury, and my stinking tire just blew out. It's snowing, and I'm on the side of the road on Highway 11 near Killington. There's a sign by the side of the road. It's hard to see. I, I think it says Kent Pond. The snow is like half a foot deep, and I can't get the lug nuts off the tire. <laughs> I hate to ask, but can you two come get me? What timing, huh? I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. Let me get dressed and I'll meet you downstairs. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense in both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I'm always do doing nice things for you, Sydney. Please be careful. See, I finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. If you feel, really feel like we have to. Ugh. But you, you I can actually lock the front door? Because I doubt it. Why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? You sure it's strife to drive in this, in this weather? Don't worry, I've driven in worse. Besides, Nora's probably freaking out more than you right now. You're probably right. Look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? Before I go, how about a hug? I mean, just in case you're able, you're asleep when I get back. 
I kind of need one right now. Sure. I'm hugging you through the door because I closed it already. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Drive safe, Mike. Can I actually lock the doors? Because I doubt it. Yeah. I wish there was an actual mechanism so you know you locked the doors, but... I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. Yep. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knew how to cheer me up and I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Yeah. Ah, uh, nope. Uh-uh. I can't see. Look at all the orbs in this house. Uh, yeah, no kidding. So go hide somewhere, please. What do I do? Hi, Ross. Going okay? I'm good. I don't want to. I probably do, though. Any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know it ain't ideal banging on the door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was connected on a ride from some of my friends, but they're running behind and won't be here for two more hours. You can sit on the porch while you wait, or you're not coming in. End of story. Which one, chat? I would tell him you're not coming in. Like, I'm sorry it's cold, but I don't know you. Welcome back, Ardian. Oh, I appreciate that. Hi, Ross. What do you think, chat? Not coming in? Thanks, but I was hoping you'd let me inside until my friends get here to get me. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, I knew it. You don't let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be a big bitch here. See, pizza guy! See, as big... I should have known you'd be as big a bitch here as you were back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you and your little boyfriend fish in the creek earlier? Figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but it looks like you're still unkind. Please just leave or I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. Speaking of, I don't see your fellow's truck out here either. I'm dialing 911. Fine. Suit yourself. I don't like that. Can I hide under the bed? Well, let me tell you something. Oops, shit. He'll get what's coming for you... ...to you for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. Oh god, it's right. The man at the door seemed irrelevant to compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. Oh my god. How could you sleep after that? Exactly. Mm -hmm. 
Rick, I'm sorry to bother you again, but can you come back over? There's someone we met driving down here who's banging on the door and started threatening me. I'm pretty scared and I think I hear him moving outside around the house. Could you please come look since you live so close? Oh god, it was Rick. He's still got a hammer. Do I open it? Thank you for that, Beth. Jesus. What the hell's going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Look, Rick, I'm so glad you came. Did you see anyone outside? Oh, thank God you're here. Explain the situation. Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. By the way, oh God. See? By the way, oh fuck. Where's your friend, the guy who was with you earlier? Mike, he went to pick up our other friend. He should be back soon. Hmm. Oh, I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. I shouldn't have said that. Hi, Pace. So you're here, you're all alone here right now, huh? Ah, uh, shit. Oh. Yeah, but my friends will be back soon or say nothing. Um, so we're playing a Fears to Fathom game. This is the landlord of the house. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Okay. Oh my god! Oh my god! Chat! Come back over? What do you mean? I live in Burlington. I haven't been to the rental in weeks. Everything okay, miss? Yeah. That's the way for texting it, isn't it? Who are you texting to? Oh my god. Holy fuck. Bad Rick. This isn't Rick. What do I do? You see my friends? They're almost here. Yeah, thanks for coming by though. I'll be fine now. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around and make sure everything's alright. You need to leave right now. What did you just say? This is my fucking house. I will leave when I want to. Get out of here before I call the cops. I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it will be one of us. What the mm. fuck are you doing? Okay, I was supposed to run. Got it. Listen, I'm a not so smart sort of young woman.
All right, all right, just got done talking to the other guests on the phone. I've called 911. Good. So I guess I just have to wait. Rare. Rare. There you go. I'm not opening the door. Fuck you. Okay, the really slow walking usually means that I'm safe. Hi, Mike. There we go. I did it, finally. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I told them everything that had happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived. And of course, the man was nowhere to be seen. Of course. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. I th we think the man we saw secretly li we saw secretly lived in the cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's actions aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knew more than he was letting on. But in the end, he gave us a full refund. I did it! I only died a million fucking times, but I did it! Hey, Lily Pichu. I love these games, they're so good. I live! Thank you! Yes, the kitty was a good comfort haymaker. Bugs. 